Hello, I am Kat Woods. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to do a video today sharing a little bit of how you can use your Dick Study Bible. I know this video has been highly, 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 highly requested and I cannot thank you enough for all the messages and comments that I have been receiving um, asking for this video to be uploaded. So thank you so much for your support. Um, I greatly appreciate everyone that's been subscribing to my channel, you guys. That is amazing. I know I have a lot of people that come over and just check out my channel, but they never subscribe. You guys, subscribe. You should really just subscribe. Make sure you hit that little bell so you get notified of every time I upload a brand new video. So you don't have to go back and scroll through to see, hey, did she post one today? You will already be notified. All right. So, um, okay. I'm just going to hop on in. I did quickly want to say this has been um, something happened over the past couple, well, last night and a couple of days. I have noticed, <clears throat> excuse me, there's different opinions about this Bible in particular. Um, I've never heard of it. I've never heard of anyone talking about it. Nothing. I didn't even know this Bible existed until the Lord sent the sweet, amazing, it was more than one person. It was like, oh, three, four, four people. And it all happened within one week span. I promise you, it was like just one right after the other. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. And I don't remember these people's names. So I wish I can thank you personally. So if you're the one that suggested this Bible for me, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I know that it was from the Lord. The Lord is the one that sent them, said, hey, let her know about this Bible. She needs it. Um, where I'm getting with this, there's like, I guess something going on where some people like it, some people don't like it. So there's like a lot of back and forth that you would get. Um, I haven't really received too many negative comments besides just really look into the Dake Study Bible. Uh, I don't ever listen to when people say um, this about some author or preacher or whatever it is, if I am being fed through, you know, through a Bible, if I'm like where I'm at on my personal walk right now, if it's really benefiting me in my walk, I'm not going to listen to Joe Bob and Billy Jane and whoever just because they said they didn't like it or they don't agree with it or whatever. That that's that's for them. That it didn't work for them. It didn't, they maybe heard somebody else and they didn't give it a chance. I don't know. I can't speak for other people. I know for me on my personal walk, this is helping me right now. I'm going to stay in what helps me right now. If later on down the line, I grow out of this Bible, just like I did the Battlefield of the Mind. I got so much hate. You sisters have received so much hate from receiving and being excited about the Battlefield of the Mind Bible. I mean, it's just, you get that. And it's so sad because it's division in the word of God. It's just, it's heartbreaking to where these people are just going back and forth and back and forth. We all don't stay in one Bible. We all don't stay thinking one way for the rest of our lives. We learn. So if we're able to learn from something like I've learned from the battlefield of the mind, I was soaking that up. I learned. Well, guess what? I graduated. I needed something more. I needed more meat. That's how one learns. So you can't just say um, that Bible's no no good because I said it, because I don't agree with it, because this, 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 this. That doesn't mean anything for you. You know, your point of view for me. It's working for me, you know? So just really stay strong, people. Um, when it comes to other commenting, when you're sharing something online, when you're looking at something, don't take anyone's anyone's opinion don't take my opinion don't take your preacher's opinion don't take anyone's opinion go to your heavenly father if you feel convicted uh, about a certain bible or a certain book a certain whatever could take it to your heavenly father ask him ask him to help reveal it to you ask him um if you need uh, other guidance just just listen to the holy spirit listen to the feelings that you have inside okay so I did all right I'm just gonna stop right there this Bible is amazing I love it I love it and it has really been really helping my spiritual walk and I have seen something so new I've read the Bible this is another thing 
I'm not just a new student. I'm not just a baby Christian. I have read my Bible cover to cover three times while well, I'm on my third time. But for official, two times, cover to cover. I read it. I know it. So I'm not going to change my my way of thinking about the Bible and how I'm translating it um, just because I read a, a, a person's study notes. People's study notes, they can help aid me, but they're not going to just, you know, change my mind. They're not going to change how I feel um, the Holy Spirit is revealing it to me. So make sure you do the same. Don't ever change your, your way of thinking, your feelings, because you've seen some somebody's study notes. Rather, it's a single person, like the John MacArthur, like the J, um, Dake here. There's one more. Oh, there's one more. That is just, it's just only that one person that does the study notes. Just don't, 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 don't. Okay, um, I was going somewhere with that, but I, I don't remember what it was. <laughs> so, all right. I have been, um, yeah, just, just telling you guys, I've been, you know, in the word enough and looking through the word enough to where I can read something and be like, yeah, I don't know about that study note and I just won't take it to heart. It's not like I'm going to be like, oh, I didn't understand that. I learned something new. So guess what? I'm going to change how I'm thinking to meet that study note. No, come on, you guys. I would hope nobody's like that. Okay, so. As you can tell, this Bible is a big, big Bible. And if you have not checked out the review for this Bible, check out the link below. I'll leave it there. But this is a big boy. Woo wee. And it does only come in the King James. I think there might be a new King James. But don't hold me for sure. I've only seen the King James. But I've heard other people um, say that they have found it. And as always... If you're stuck in a Bible and you don't know exactly how to use it, make sure you come over here and read. Read the beginning because it really, really helps helps you understand how to use your Bible. Okay? I'm going to show you how, but that really, it really gets you um, in, you know, enlightenment. All right. So, I'll take you to what I have been doing now. As you can tell, it is a three-column format here. There are some four columns, but this is the large print, so it only is a three column. Right in here is the actual inspired word of God. So this is the Bible part. All of this is helps, um, study notes, um, other, maybe he'll put like his thoughts on it. There are lists that he will do like this. He'll do list where he's taking you to other different scriptures. So um, there's references. There's so much other goodies around the actual word of God that really, really helps you understand just what you're reading here. And that's what I really love about this Bible. You can really dissect and really, really, really soak up one particular scripture. All right. So I've been, um, this is my first page where I, you know, I went ahead jumped in and started marking it up. I love the way a marked up Bible looked. So I was like, you know what? If I, after I get done with this Bible and I want to buy another one, I'll, I'll buy another one. <laughs> so, okay. Um, let me see. How can I share? I'll show you one in Psalms. But this is something that I just learned from using this Bible. I am in 2 Samuel chapter 22. Okay. This whole chapter 22 this right here really, really, really was like um, his prayer, where he, what he was like reading. I didn't read it in this Bible. This, let me just say that. I don't use this Bible for my day-to-day -day reading. You can, but I, I personally don't. I have my own little Bible um, that I'm using. It is the little turquoise. It's the little cameo here, turquoise. This is what I use for my day-to-day -day reading. Just so I'm getting the Word of God and I'm not being um, surrounded by notes and being off track. I use my study time, which is this, with the Dake Bible. Okay, so this is two separate things. I'll read the Word of God and then I'll come in here and study what I read. So I was reading it and then um, I read a Psalms and I read a Proverbs every day. So it was the 18th, so I read the 18th of Psalms and the 18th of Proverbs. 
And as I was reading it, I was like, you know what? This is exactly what I just read in 2 Samuel, or yeah, 1 Samuel. No, it is, it is 2 Samuel. Sorry, I'm getting all twisted. 2 Samuel chapter 22. It's not word for word, but it is still the same phrases. All of this, this whole chapter is literally in um, Psalms 18. Like, I was blown away. I don't know why I never made that connection, like ever, 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 ever did I make that connection up until I was really taking apart these scriptures, was really soaking in what they meant. And I was like, you know what, reading that, I was like, hey, I just read that. So that that was a, a very enlightening, exciting moment for me. I was like, oh my goodness, I was able to read God's word and then remember something from another book, another chapter that just really reminded me of the same thing. It literally is the same thing, but it was it was amazing. It was truly amazing. So in here, um, just look at these helps. So let me see if I can show you right here. I do have, these are 12 things God's people, 12 things God is to his people. So he is the rock, the fortress, the deliverer. And I just made, if you come up here to D, we'll find where D is right here. He's the, my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. So as you're reading, you just got to fo follow these little letters. So wherever they have the little letters, and it has that like little apostrophe thingy. You come down here through your notes. There's B, there's C, and there's D. And this is all the little study notes on it. Or it's his little list. Some have list. Some have just regular little notes. And I have been taking um, all of those little lists and stuff in my classic. Because if you follow me on Facebook, you already know this. But I'll take it in my, actually write them down in my classic. So I have like three, four Bibles out every day when I'm doing an actual study. So this is the Bible I've been using. And I will take right here, you will see 12 things God is to his people and we have the rock i wrote down the scripture i was going to do it for all of them but i figured well no maybe not the fortress i could have but i wanted more room so for when you all are like how are you writing all of this what all are you doing this is literally it i'm just taking every single little um i guess letter every little study note if it really touches my heart and it's really like wow i like that i want to remember that i come over here in this bible which leaves it has a blank page literally a blank page and i just write it down now i don't do that for all of like all the chapters of the bible just whatever really gets me excited i'm just i loved this prayer so i i wanted to have it i wanted to have the study notes that's about nine body parts of God and I just went ahead and color coded it so all the purple is everything to do about God so when I'm coming back through here I can remember like okay I know the orange means prayer I know the purple means this is for me so God is my rock God is my deliverer and I have a purple underline because it's obviously talking about God the red is sin So yeah, that's that's what I've been doing. And I just did this here. So this is the first Psalms. And I did some little lines here so, so I can help you guys also try to keep track of this. So this is, um, where am I at here? Oh yeah, this is five acts of ungodly. Ungodly, I want to say ungod, ungodliness. <laughs> ungodly. So when they're all located right here. So I put like a red squiggly line for like, you know, hate and the yellow to emphasize it. And then 
each of these little um, letters and words, they have the Hebrew meaning down here. So this is rage. And I just drew a little line over here to rage. And I wanted to use different colors so I can remember. Um, this is meditate, but the actual word up here is imagine. So this is all easy stuff you guys can do in your own Bibles. Um, I know we like looking at everyone's Bible and they're like, wait, how are they doing that? What are they doing? And I don't understand it. We that make the notes, we understand it because we put them there. But I know other people look at it like, whoa, that's way too much. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's really, really easy, you guys. Reading this, when you first come into any, any chapter, most chapters, they will have verses that you already come to. So pre-read these before you go into the actual um, start the chapter because they have a lot of good information. Sometimes, like right here, five conditions of blessings. Oh, it's not a list. But they'll have like lists that you do at the end you, to take you to the end of the actual book. And they have all these extra notes. So sometimes you'll have to come back here, look through a list. And these are all verses you can look up. I mean, there's just having this Bible, there is no way you can sit at any study time and be like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to study on. I'm I, I'm clueless. You can't be. You can't be clueless with the Bible like this. And it's not like you're only going through and looking up scriptures for like referencing because that's how I was doing my normal Bible study. I'll just um do references. Okay, well, this scripture led me to this reference. This word led me to this reference. And then that one, that I was just following references. But this one, it really brings out more. There's prayers, there's blessings, there's curses, there's inspiration. There's um, this beautiful quote in the New Testament. Oh, in 2 Timothy. And look at what this is over the Bible. If you can, pause it and read it. This is so beautiful. Let me try to make it. There we go. See if that helps. Nope. It's a cloudy day, so. But that is beautiful. So there's so many things that I still don't know about this Bible, you all. But I'm learning as I'm going. And I am. I've never been so excited. Truly never been so excited in my life. I wish the red was more of a darker red but I could still read it so it doesn't it doesn't really affect me that's the only bad thing about this but okay if you do have any questions you all um you know I am here for you always always here for you um I, I love communicating with you all and thank you for all the encouragement I've been getting lately that's been Ooh, a huge, a huge blessing. You have no idea. When I hear somebody that says, you know what, Kat? I watched your review. I went out and got a Bible and it really helped me on my spiritual walk. That's my goal. That literally is my goal for my channel. I'm just here to share my excitement. If I learn something new, I want to help you all. Not that I'm here to help teach you, but I'm here just to help you learn whatever I learn. So, yeah, that's just, I love Bibles. I love working through Bibles. I love being a student of God's Word. And I'm excited when I can get others to come along with me. So, when it comes to Judgment Day, I plan to see every single one of my viewers right there with me, hand in hand, walking through the heavenly gates of our Heavenly Father. <laughs> so, okay, I love you all. Make sure you leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. It really helps my channel here. I'm really trying to get my ministry out there. Um, it's been doing amazing. I'm, or I cannot believe how much this channel has already grown. I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart who have been here since day one. You guys are amazing. All right, I'm going to let you go.